Ooh, Deadpool. Everyone in the world pretty much knows who Deadpool is. But not everyone knows that about 10 years ago, a Deadpool game hit the Xbox 360 and the PS3. So today we are asking, with all the other gaming gems out there, is it worth our time? So let's take a look. Much more realistic. Fine. You asked for this. Hundreds of... Oh! Oh, you gotta love the ones that make you sweat. Do you like hack and slash action games? Because really, did you think that Deadpool would be anything but that? Developed by High Moon Studios in 2013, the same studio that made the fantastic Transformers War and Fall for Cybertron games, you follow the Merc with a mouth as he joins forces with Cable and the X-Men while going after Mr. Sinister. And that's about as much of a plotline as you're going to get here. As of course, on par with Deadpool, the game is full of fourth wall breaks, almost to the point of not even really having a plot and you just running around killing everything and having Deadpool talk shit the whole time. And that's not a critique or anything. It's a lot of fun, honestly. Just something to note when going in. Deadpool is voiced by none other than Nolan North, a major heavy hitter in the gaming community, and probably best known for voicing Nathan Drake from Uncharted and Desmond Miles from the Assassin's Creed series. In another fourth wall break, he's even hired by Deadpool himself to add Creed to his game after it's first rejected by High Moon. And honestly, I'm not gonna lie, it is a little weird not hearing Ryan Reynolds' voice coming out of Deadpool's face, but it's not bad at all. <laughs> yeah, well fuck you, Nolan. The game is of course an action hack and slasher with the normal light and heavy attacks. It also features a combo system that you can take advantage of by chaining together the different combinations of both. You also have a set of ballers that you can whip out at any point for a little long range action. The more you chain your combos, the more Deadpool tokens pop out from fallen enemies that you can then use to upgrade your weapons and Deadpool himself. You start with your handguns and your katanas, but can unlock different melee weapons such as size or different guns like a shotgun. You also have access to different grenade types that can help clear enemies out. The upgrade system is surprisingly deep. Each weapon can be upgraded in a number of ways, from just doing more damage to unlocking different combos. The same with Deadpool himself, all the tokens you collect being used as currency. You also have a momentum meter that comes into play that builds as you kick ass. Once topped off, you can activate a super attack that does major damage to all the enemies. There's multiple ones, like if you have your guns out or for what weapon you have out. They're pretty awesome. The gameplay has been criticized for being repetitive, but really, what hack and slash isn't? It's the same thing in every one and every capacity. Light and heavy attacks, combo upgrades, and waves of enemies. To me, you can't really hold a genre standard against a game in said genre. I feel where a lot of that may come from is the levels and the enemies themselves. They're all the same. Like, there's three different low-ranking bad dude types and a few sub-bosses, and that's it. They just come over and over and over at you. The levels themselves are nothing special either. Sewers, city rubble, office buildings, they all look the same and are mostly kind of mundane. Not really bad at all, just not that much that stands out. A few things do though, such as using down sentinel parts in one level to progress through the stage. That was actually pretty sweet. Deadpool has always been known as being kinda spicy, but given the game came out like 10 years ago, it's at uber levels all throughout. Some have called it a bit sexist, I'll leave that for you to decide, but if you like boobies, you're definitely gonna get your fill here. Lo behold, number one fangirl is hot! <laughs> Thank you.
The game, in my opinion, is pretty hilarious. It keeps with the classic Deadpool humor that we've all come to expect, pretty much all from him and his running commentary throughout the game and the constant fourth wall breaks of him talking shit. I think it makes up for any repetitive gameplay, and like I've said, the gameplay I don't think is bad, it's just easy fun that you can build on to really kick ass, and the added humor just keeps you more entertained. If you did strip all that away, you would have a much more mundane and bland game. And you might even pass on it. But I don't feel that's a fair critique. I think the over-the-top humor and casual gameplay is what makes this game appealing. All the gameplay footage shown is captured on my 360, but I'd like to pick it up on the PS3 as well. In either case, I think the game looks really good and the graphics hold up. Deadpool was also re-released on Xbox Live and the PlayStation Network, but were later removed from both sadly over licensing issues. But if you did buy it back then, you can still download it now. Deadpool doesn't have a multiplayer mode or much in the way of DLC, but it does feature a challenge system that you can play through. But honestly, it gets boring fast, as you're just dropped down in a random campaign level and have waves of dudes thrown at you. Not a whole lot there. So with all we've talked about, is Deadpool worth your time? If you're a fan of Deadpool, then yes. If you're a fan of simple hack and splashes, then again, yes. And if you're into easy achievements and trophies, then once more, an easy yes, as they toss a few at you pretty easily. Though, if you are looking for a deeper, more rich experience in your action adventure hack and slashes, you won't walk away from this one feeling probably very fulfilled. But in my opinion, Deadpool is a lot of fun and worth a try. If you don't have a lot of time and want something you can pick up and play for 30 minutes for a quick smile, then I highly recommend this game. So programs, as always, if you enjoyed the video, force push that like button, hit the sub, it's little for you and massive for me, and as always, remember to always be excellent to each other.